Ethereum is a blockchain platform that supports decentralized applications and has a native cryptocurrency. The goal of Ethereum is to act as a global computer where anyone can create and use decentralized applications. Whereas Bitcoin primarily uses the SHA-256 hash algorithm, Ethereum primarily uses the Ketchak-256 algorithm. Ethereum chose Ketchak-256 for independence from Bitcoin and for mild ASIC resistance. Ethereum initially used the energy intensive proof of work consensus, but in September of 2022, it switched to proof of stake. The Ethereum merge was one of the most complex software updates in history. Since Ethereum is decentralized, there's no way of forcing clients to upgrade their software. And since Ethereum is worth hundreds of billions of dollars, so much value is at stake. In order to take over a proof of work network, you need over 50% of the network's total hashing power. In order to take over a proof of stake network, you need over 50% of the staked coins. Proof of stake offers better energy efficiency and fewer hardware requirements than proof of work, but it is much more complicated to implement. Ethereum's environmental footprint fell by over 99% upon transitioning to proof of stake. A smart contract is a program that runs on the blockchain. It can be thought of as a digital vending machine. Once it is deployed, it will automatically execute when certain conditions are met. The Ethereum virtual machine executes smart contract bytecode, and Solidity and Viper are two Turing complete programming languages that compile down to EVM bytecode. As the Ethereum ecosystem has grown, people have created semi mainstream applications that run entirely on the blockchain. However, at the time of me creating this video, the cost of storage on the Ethereum network is too much for most practical applications. For every transaction you send, or contract you deploy on the Ethereum network, there's a small form of payment associated with that computation known as gas. Gas fees change based upon network congestion and they are a mechanism to prevent the network from being overwhelmed. Right now, developers are working on making Ethereum more scalable by building layer two protocols that can handle transactions off-chain and then uh, process them on-chain in batches.